Today I want to talk about a, uh, a task I find myself doing, of course, pretty much any time I go to set up a tool, and that is measuring something on the setup. On the router table, it's generally going to be your the uh, height of your bit. You're going to find the same thing on uh, your table saw, measuring the height of the um, of the cut off the table, of course. Um, and there are a number of different cases. Pretty much every tool you go to, you've got some setup measurement that you're going to do. I'm here at the router table right now, and I want to show you um, kind of the, the problem first, and then talk about a couple of solutions, and one in particular that I think is really handy. So you can see the bit I have in here right now is actually a lock miter bit, one of Rockler's lock miter bits right now. But I'm actually going to go ahead and back the fence off just so we can see this a little bit better. So you see that bit uh, is a little bit awkward. And particularly when I have it here in my router table, I've got my insert here and there's a little bit of clearance around it so that, uh, of course, I get you know good dust extraction, but I, I also have good support up pretty close to the bit. But what that makes it really tough to do is measure with your tape measure. Now, I can come in here and I can set the tape measure on the back like this and try to look um, from the perspective that the camera has right now. And I can see, you know, that that, that bit is probably about, oh, I don't know, about five-eighths of an inch uh, out right now. But that's, that's pretty approximate. I can come here on the side and I can see, you know, something similar. Although in that, in that case, I might say it's actually more like 11 sixteenths maybe. So again, you know, I'm getting a little bit of variation, and on something like a lock miter setup, that variation is going to be a problem. If you didn't want to use the tape measure, and I, I really suggest you don't, you could come in here with a combination square as well. The problem with a combination square is that you, your registration is going to be off one side or another here. You know, if I set my, my combination square on this side, and I bring it down to the bit, that's going to give me a pretty good indication. But the problem is, this plastic insert isn't really what I want to base my, my whole existence off of, especially just one side of it. Um, so what we really would want is a tool that can register on both sides and give me a measurement off this center point that's, that's relative to both sides here. And hopefully then that'll give me a nice um, consistent measurement side to side, which is made by Wixie. And this is the uh, mini digital height gauge. But for this guy, all we're gonna do is drop this rule all the way down and there's a little thumb screw here on the side that you can lock it into position or you can uh, you can loosen it up. What we're going to do is we're going to loosen that so that we can bring this all the way down to the bottom and we're going to sit it flush on the table like this. There's a little the on off button. We'll go ahead and set this and we're going to zero it. All right so now as I lift this measurement increases and I happen to be in millimeters right now it switches easily between millimeters and inches just with this green button here in the center. The base actually has uh, magnets in both sides, so you get a real nice uh, stable footing there on a, a cast iron top, for example. Is I can set this, again, on both sides of my bit, and I can position the bit so that this comes down and rests on the absolute highest point, all right? And that's going to tell me, right now, for example, that's... Uh, 16.7 millimeters. So very precise measurement. And you've also got, of course, a, um, a metric and imperial um, ruler actually here on the, on the piece in the middle. This can serve you well with the bandsaw too. Um, I have a fence here on my bandsaw and uh, it does have a ruler um, over here on the track. But um, suppose you want to double check that. Suppose you want a more precise setup than what you feel like you can really eyeball on the rule. Um, it's nice to, to be able to position this um, a couple of different ways if, if you had the need. Well, you can actually take this from the fence here. And, uh, you know, suppose I wanted to get to a particular measurement. I could preset that measurement on the Wixi. We'll say just an even inch, okay? So I'm going to preset that, and I can lock it in with a thumb screw so we don't have any movement. Then I can go ahead and place this against the fence, and I can... Scoot the fence right up to it and lock the fence in place. Table saw is a very similar application actually to the router table uh, and has some of the same problems. This blade um, obviously has a number of teeth and positioning your blade height is a little bit tricky because you've got to turn the blade until you get a tooth that's at the very, very highest point, right? So 
that can be a little hard to position and then use your tape measure or then use your combination square to get right where you want. In this case, I can place the gauge over the top here like this and I can say, just again, arbitrarily, um, where, wherever the blade happens to be at that moment, I'm just gonna come to a particular tooth. We'll, we'll pick this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and decide that <clears throat> I'm at about 26.25 millimeters here. So I could bring this back with a thumb screw locked in place, and I'm just gonna slide it, keeping this nice and flat on the, on the table. And if at any point this catches, and you can see that's the tooth I just measure, measured off of, so it just rides across the top of that. If at any point it catches, that means I've got a higher, higher tooth, right? Likewise, I can set it here, and I can just rotate my blade through. So that's gonna tell me my maximum height right there, 26.25. So just a couple quick words about this, uh, this Wixi Mini Digital Height Gauge. Having the ability to go between millimeters and inches um, with just the push of a button off the same measurement is super helpful. If you're going to transfer a measurement uh, from one tool to another, that could be very flexible. It's nice if you're working um, with a combination of tools uh, in your shop, something like uh, a fest tool and a saw stop, for example. My saw stop is all obviously in... Uh, Imperial measurement and Festool is much more geared to um, metric measurements. So that could be nice to switch back and forth. Uh, we looked at height measurements on the table saw, the band saw, and the router table. Uh, but think about how this transfers to other tools as well. Um, the router table is obviously going to be a very similar concept to measuring bit height in an actual router. You just turn your router upside down and set this guy on top of it. Um, you could do similar measurements on your hollow chisel mortiser. Um, there are even applications on the drill press. And one of my favorite additional little features about this is this piece that stores neatly here on one of the legs. You can flip the tool over and lock this onto the ruler. Then what you have is a, a height probe, effectively. So you can set this on a piece of material, such as this one, just a piece of plywood with a simple little hole in it. Loosen up our thumb screw. So that hole happens to go all the way through. Now, even if it didn't, I could measure it to the bottom of the hole. But in this case, it does go all the way through. All right, so I'm gonna drop that down in this case again, because it's a through hole, until it actually hits the uh, table of the table saw. And that's telling me that my distance is 0.726 inches, which would be about right. This is a uh, piece of three-quarter inch ply that was uh, not quite three-quarters of an inch. Um, you so. could also use this to measure um, depths of dados, sliding dovetails, um, you know, a variety of kind of uh, awkward positions to get a, uh, a tape measure or even a combination square in some cases into. And then when you're done, this just pops off and locks back on the leg here for easy access.